Right now, I'm presently the only U.S. woman to win a gold medal for the United States in the 800 meter run. 1972, Munich, Germany was a hell year for me. I wasn't out there to glorify God. I was out there to show you can't keep a good woman down. I call it my hell year because a lot of devastating things happened to me. I became a divorcee through a very bad, traumatic divorce situation, leaving me as a single parent to raise a son. I also was running very angry. I was hurt. I wasn't out there to glorify God. I was out there to show you can't keep a good woman down. And that's the way I felt about it. The greatest tragedy was when the Black September group came over the fence during the night, entering the village in track clothes. People thinking these are some athletes who have just been out beyond their curfew and they're sneaking back in so nobody said anything to them. Not realizing that these guys were about to do one of the most horrific things that the Olympics had ever seen. One of our javelin throwers start running through the dormitory screaming at the top of her. And she was already crazy, okay? <laughs> but this, this sound was different. Waking up everybody and, and let, letting us know something was wrong. I got up and I went out on one of our sprinters' balconies that was facing the Israeli building. There were guys on top of the roofs and we, we didn't know that they were sharpshooters because they had on sports gear. So we're p pointing at them like, oh, they gonna get in trouble? And finally Floppy Hat comes out. And we're like, who is that guy? And finally he turned sideways and then we saw a gun on him. And when that happened, we all, all, all of a sudden, we just stopped talking. And it hit us. This dude could blow us away. And we all turned at the same time and ran toward the door, which blocked the door. I'm in the front. And so that means my back now is toward him. And the fear hit me so hard, thinking they're making too much noise, he's gonna get really upset and turn around and start shooting and I'm, I could just feel bullets riveting through my back. Our shot putter, who was quite big, just went up with one arm, moved everybody back <laughs> and opened the door. And we, of course, as girls, we're running through the door screaming. It was a moment that was very, very traumatic for me. They made us get out the building. A couple of us went over to the men's basketball um, lobby because they had this huge screen TV <laughs> and, and turned it on to see what was happening. And where did Jesus come into the picture? Jesus was always there with me through it all. Jesus was very, very much a part of everything. I, even when I was angry, 